What is going on, guys? Oh, let me fix this camera. All right. What is going on, guys? Say that's my favorite pack again with another YouTube video. Make sure to like the video, comment down below any other YouTube videos that you want me to make, and subscribe to the channel. I mean, come on, guys. I'm pushing out videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every single week, right? Three videos a week, editing them myself, filming them myself, providing content for free for you guys. So please just subscribe to the channel. Now, with that being said, today's video will be about Oryx Gurus why you shouldn't listen to them for the most part, all right? Now, I'm going to get really into detail with that because I think it's very, very important on multiple, there's multiple reasons why I believe that you shouldn't necessarily listen to Forex gurus as much as you probably are, especially as a beginner trader. I know that we oftentimes, and I remember I'm doing this myself as well, are just really putting these gurus on a pedestal and thinking that they're just absolute genius traders and everything. And so I'm going to prove you why that's not true. And I know what you guys might be thinking before we get started. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Aren't you a forex guru yourself? And you'd be right. I am trying to be. A, I'm an. I'm an aspiring forex guru. Right? I don't really think you're a forex guru unless you have a course out and like you have students and you have like ten thousand subscribers on YouTube, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You know. So I'm an aspiring forex guru. But the reason I'm making this video is because oftentimes people as a beginner traders they get very stuck. They get overwhelmed because there's so much information out there, and I don't think forex gurus really help. Excuse me. And gurus in general, in any sort of industry, they don't really help that case, right? There will be so much information, and everybody has their own way of making things work for them. And it's very important to get exposed to a different way to do things and learning every single way, well, at least the base knowledge between every single way, so you figure out which one, which way you like the best. But I think the bigger issue is is that when people end up following these gurus. They see this guru doing well, they see this guru doing well, they see that, and they did that, 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 right? Now. And so what ends up happening is, is that you have gurus that might have like, if you have three different gurus, right? There's three different strategies, all right? I'm just gonna call them like influencers from now on, right? I don't like using the word guru. Um, but you have three different Forex influencers. You're gonna be using three different strategies. Now you're gonna think like, okay, he has three different strategies. So I'm gonna use them all, right? But you're not really gonna do well. You might be thinking to combine all the three strategies, right? But it doesn't work like that. And oftentimes, a lot of these influencers are trying to sell you something, right? And they may be doing that through multiple different ways, right? They might be flaunting their lifestyle, might be driving around in Lamborghini, spending $10,000 in a Miri. Um, you might be thinking I'm like dissing Lambo or all, but I actually like him a lot. So don't think like, don't think this is a diss to any influencer, right? That like Forex influencer. Don't, don't think that, right? I'm just saying that, you know, they do these things that they might, that might actually be the life, right? I'm pretty sure it is. But when they're vlogging it, they're putting it out there. They're trying to show you guys, like, hey, this is what my life is like. If you learn from me, I can do it. I can have your life be like this as well. That's essentially what they're trying to say. And if you follow my course, if you follow me, subscribe to me, and buy my course, I'll teach you the things that got me to where I am today. Now, look, it might not be malicious intent, but when you see one guru doing it, you see another guru and another guru and another, and another influencer doing it, so many different influencers doing the same exact thing, and they all have different strategies, you're gonna get confused, you're gonna get overwhelmed. You're gonna be like, what should I use? Right? What strategy should I use? Who should I follow and all that? So, really, I would think that I think it's very helpful. I think influencers are very helpful. I think they provide a lot of good information and knowledge out there. However, I think that you should find a strategy that you like yourself. And once you like that strategy, only listen to a couple of people that actually work in that strategy, right? and work around or will have similar strategies to you because I, there's no point in following all of these guys, right? It's the same exact thing over and over again. Guys, trading is boring. Trading is mundane. Trading is the same exact thing, okay? Whether you go to one influencer, the other influencer, the other influencer, they're only going to tell you the same exact thing. Have a trading plan. Write it down. Stick to your trading plan. Focus on your trading psychology, right? Meditate like twice a day so that helps, right? Bare bones trading is the exact same thing over and over again, no matter what strategy you use. The literal only difference is a strategy. The literal only difference is why they're entering, what time frame they're using, what type of analysis, are they using indicators, are they using fundamentals, are they using only technicals, are they using short patterns, are they using liquidity grabs and fair value grabs like ICT and all that, right? So that is literally the only difference. Actual bare bones trading is literally the same exact thing. Follow your plan risk managed properly, right? By only risking one, two, maybe even 3% maximum per trade. And then, you know, have great trading psychology, stick to your plan, set your alerts, and that's about it, right? So there's no real benefit to following a bunch of different 
um, gurus or influencers. Now, let's get into some of the deceptive tactics that I know creators use, right? And it's kind of difficult to spot these if you're a beginner trader, of course, but you know, as someone with three years in the industry now, coming up on three years, someone with three plus years in the industry, you kind of figure out what's legitimate and what's not. And so let's get into it real quick to show you guys how to spot some really shady stuff really. So what you guys have to understand, let me move my chair a bit closer, is that influencers only show you what they want to show you, right? They're not gonna be showing you everything. So for instance, let's take a look at this trade. I'm showing you this trade and the result of this trade was break even, correct? Right? That's what would have been for me, as you guys know. Again, price moves to one R and then put more stuff this break even and it starts me out. Okay, fine, right? But here's the thing. When you're trading with a larger capital, when you have more money and you're a successful trader, right? What are you going to be trading with? You're going to be trading with 10K. You're going to be trading with like 100, 200, 300, half a million. Even some traders trade with seven figures, right? Some influencer, influencer traders, they trade with seven figures. And so if they're up here, right? This was in a, a roughly a 12K stop loss, right? So if price is here, right? And let's say you have a half a million dollar account and I'm only using half a million dollars. It might seem like a lot of money, but anybody can get funded. And if you get funded, a lot of platforms will offer you half a million dollars with scale, right? So it's not the most um, outrageous thing to say, right? So half a million dollars, and let's say this candle closes at five, okay? So five divided by 12. All right, cool. So it's 0.41%, 0.42% in profit. So you have half a million dollars, and you're risking 2% of your account per trade. That's $10,000, okay? So now, if price is 0.42% in profit, $4,200. So now here's what these traders do. Here's what these influencers will do. They will pull up their phone in MetaTrader 4. They'll start screen recording and they're going to post on IG, right? They're going to post on their Instagram story. They're going to be like, I'm up $4,200 for this day. Okay. And that's going to get you thinking to yourself, like, wow, this guy's up $4,200. They're going to keep on doing that. Whether or not they lose the trade, whether or not this trade closes out at break even, guys, guess what? If this trade closes out at break even, like it does, do you think they're going to show you? Do you think they're going to tell you that, oh, I was up $4,000, I was up $10,000 that day, and I ended up off at $0? No, they're not going to update you. They're just going to be like, look at me, guys. I made $4,000 so far on this trade, and I'm still holding. They're not going to tell you that it closed out of break even. They're not going to show you the entries. I would notice that. They don't show you entries. They don't show you lot sizes, any of that, because then you can figure it out. This is where this guy's stop losses. This is where he entered from. This is what happened in the trade. Oh, he didn't actually end up getting, uh, he didn't actually end up making $4,000. He actually ended up getting stopped up. He actually ended up going break even. Right, because at the end of the day, guys, forty-two hundred dollars might be a lot for you, and it's a lot for anybody. But if you have a half million dollar account and you're risking two percent, well, forty-two hundred dollars is not even 0.5 R, right? So if price was to close at this candle at five pips in profit and reverse all the way down and stop you out, well, now you're done for the day, and you've lost. I mean, you're not done for the day, but you've lost for the day so far, right? But they're going to show you that they lost now. Now here's another thing that these uh, influencers do that I've noticed is that they have like eight different take profit levels. Why I can't imagine because they don't actually end up holding to those take profit levels. All right. So what they do is they go like this and it'll be like, okay, TP one is at one R, TP two is at two R and then three R and then four and then five and then six. All right. Bam. So there's six take profits, right? So now what's going to end up happening is, is that, this is a six take profit, right? They're gonna throw out three different, so they're gonna take, throw out six different take profits and they're gonna take the profit at like a one-to-one. -one. Maybe they'll take it at a one-to-two, all right? But now in their signal room, right? At least some of them I know, in their signal rooms, what they do is that they're gonna be like, hey guys, I'm out at TP1, I'm out at TP2. And they're actually, and I think that's pretty um, important that if they're doing that, because that shows their transparency, that shows their honesty, right? So in their signal room, they'll say that. And now what they're gonna do though, however, is that if this price ends up reaching, if this trade ends up reaching uh, take profit six, which it did, they might be out at take profit one, they might be out at take profit two. But when it comes to posting on Instagram, guys, when it comes to luring people into their signal, luring people into their courses, they're gonna be like, look guys, I called out six take profits and my trade hit all six of them. And then they're gonna do the same thing on the next trade. And then they're gonna do the same thing on the next trade, right? And so they're gonna make it seem like they're just hitting these massive one to six, one to 10, you know, one to four risk to order ratios back to back to back to back to back to back. And they're out at a one to one and they're out at a one to two. 
Oh, look, here's the thing, guys. They're not actually lying to you. It's the whole thing. They might be deceiving you a little bit, but it's not technically lying, right? Because did they ever say that they were out at a one to six? No, they just say that they called it, right? Did they ever say that? Well, let's bring this back to the actual take profit levels that I have set. As you guys know, I only use a set one to one point five TP. Right? They're not going to tell you, right? That they lost another trade, like I did today. I'm down for the day, right? But if they won this trade, they're just going to focus on that. And there's another thing, guys. If they lose this trade, right, and this trade ends up hitting, even if they like get out at one hour at two hour or whatever, they have a six pick take pro- uh, six hour take profit. What they're going to do is they're going to be like, oh look, guys, guys, like I'm just like you. I also lose trades, right? But then I smash a one to six take profit, and I make all my losses back and a lot more money. That's what they're going to do. They're going to make it seem like they're such a better trader than they actually are. That's what I, you guys have to get across your minds is that these influencers might be great traders and they might be even profitable traders. And I don't doubt that, but they're not as good of traders as they are making it out, making themselves out to be. All right. So when you have that fact, right, because why are they, why are they doing all these things? They're just doing this so you sign up through the signal. They're just doing it to you sign up for the courses and they make more money. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying you guys have to be aware of what these marketing strategies really are. Now you have that coupled with the fact that there are so many out there now, including me. I'm one of these guys, or at least aspiring to be one of these guys, right? So now when you have that, there's so much overwhelming amount of information out there. So many people do things a different way. I personally believe that when it comes to learning from influencers, you know, try out different strategies. Pick like one, two, maximum three, right? If you're anything over three, you're just like overdoing it. Pick three people that you really like that follow similar values to you when it comes to trading, similar strategies, and learn from them. And that's it, all right? Anything over three, you're really overdoing it. You're gonna get overwhelmed with all the information out there, all right? Uh, and you're gonna have too much noise. All right, that's about it, guys. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed, and that's about it. Peace out, guys.